1966, Sydney welcomed a VIP visitor. Australia and its people greeted President and Mrs. Johnson with open hands and open hearts. Lyndon B. Johnson was the first US president to visit Australia. The city was decked out. Close on a million Sydney siders turn out to greet the president. Young and old lined the streets just to catch a glimpse of LBJ. It was this big celebration that was a moment in the sun for the Premier, the Prime Minister. Sydney is proud of its harbour and the President was once a naval officer. So it was inevitable that he should have a harbour cruise. In the city, his motorcade was mobbed. A blizzard of ticker tape rained down. The President said he had never seen anything quite like it. But cheers gave way to scuffles as anti-Vietnam War protesters tried to stop the President's car. Green Senator Lee Rhiannon kept a scrapbook of LBJ's visit. I think I'm in the middle of that crowd there. She wagged school to join the anti-war protest. Demonstrators breached security cordons and ran onto the road. When the students then laid down in front of the motorcade, everything changed very fast. Police tried to drag the protesters away. The president's car came to a halt. His host was furious. Premier Robert Askin said, run over the bastards. That was reported far and wide. The pictures of the protest were flashed around the globe. Four decades later, another motorcade sparked a presidential security breach. Police in Sydney are retooling the security around President Bush after a bunch of comedians got past thousands of police. The Chasers apex stunt in 2007 again put Sydney in the global spotlight for embarrassing reasons.